And there's been a few kind of models, I guess, that have been put out over the years to try and describe what the different physiological components are that explain variability in performance. So can, in other words, explain who runs fast and, and who runs slow over a given distance. Um, and it kind of boils down to three main factors. So you've got maximal oxygen uptake uh, that people um, abbreviate to VO2 max. And that's the most amount of oxygen that a runner can take from the atmosphere, bring into their body via their lungs, and then transport from their lungs around their vascular system towards the working muscles. Um, and I guess that's kind of our gold standard measure. So that one best explains like who's going to be fast, who's going to be slow over like a 10k or a marathon type distance. Um, as a second factor, we've also got something called fractional utilization, which is basically a fancy way of saying it's the percentage or the fraction of VO2 max that I can access for a given distance or duration. So very good runners are capable of sustaining very high percentages of their VO2 max for quite long uh, durations, whereas more recreational runners can sustain much lower percentages. Um, and then we've also got running economy. So running economy, um, sometimes people refer to as efficiency, um, is essentially how much energy or oxygen I need to sustain a given sub-maximal intensity of exercise. So if I'm completing a 10k or a marathon, I'm, I'm obviously at a sub-maximal running speed, and it's how much energy or oxygen I'm using in order to, uh, to complete that effort.